A Night in Vienna featuring Mozart and the Strauss dynasty is the focus of this CSO program led by Manfred Honeck. 19th century Vienna moved to the beat of waltzes and polkas. Napoleon was finally out of the picture, the economy was booming, and the glitterati prowled the imperial cities, ballrooms, and casinos. Johann Strauss Jr. built on the dance music tradition of his father. And on a typical night, he'd rush to and from his five orchestras, conducting with violin in hand. Possibly the noisiest of Strauss's dance numbers is the thunder and lightning polka, featuring cymbal crashes and timpani flourishes. The cuckoo polka is adorned with bird calls, while the hunting polka features a pistol shot. The furioso polka has the swaggering feel of a gallop. Lest we forget, Strauss was the waltz king. We'll hear the voices of spring waltz. And as a reminder that music was a family business, we'll hear the dragonfly polka by Johann's brother, Josef Strauss. Almost a century earlier, Vienna was Mozart's town. In 1785, the frantically busy composer gave the premiere of his Piano Concerto No. 21 at Vienna's National Court Theater. His father, Leopold, was visiting from Salzburg and proudly reported back to Mozart's sister on the work's success. Set in C major, it's a regal concerto with martial drums and trumpets in the first movement. The andante seems to anticipate a romantic nocturne, while a rollicking finale has the spirit of a comic opera. Jan Lischetsky is the soloist. The program begins with Resurrexit by American composer Mason Bates. Manfred Honeck challenged Bates to write a spiritual opener. The exhilarating 10-minute score traces the biblical narrative of Christ's resurrection using Middle Eastern sonorities, an Easter chant, and the sound of a semantron, a suspended wood plank instrument traditionally used to call monks to prayer. Mm -hmm. 